What are they thinking? What really makes them tick? Oh, look at that face. Is there any way to get inside the animal mind? They sure have some amazing abilities. Take this bird genius. Who can get the hidden treat faster? A bird brain or man's best friend? Through his own problem-solving abilities, he worked out what he had around him to his advantage. Is it instinct, training, or something else? What I really want to know is what is it like to be an animal? What are the problems they have to solve? Um, and how do they think? And are they like us? Or are they like something totally different? In a three-part Nova series, cutting-edge animal science reveals new answers, getting inside their heads in ways never before possible. Without proper conditioning and training, the dogs would just run scared for the MRI. We've already taught the dogs through lots of practice that this means food. We find that the area that's common to all the dogs corresponds exactly to the same part of the human brain that responds to reward. We put different species to the test to explore the roots of animal intelligence. Who are the best problem solvers? If they were students in a classroom, the wolf would be focusing down on the test and solving the problem. The dogs would be cheating by looking at somebody else's test. Who wins the battle of the super senses? Could a dog smell time? They have hundreds of millions more receptors in their nose than a person does. Between half four and five, he's there at the door waiting for him. What about this dolphin? Even blindfolded, it can perceive and imitate a swimmer's movements. You know, I see this every day, and I still cannot get over how extraordinary it is that he does this. And does brain size really matter? A crow's brain, in relative terms, is as big as that of a chimpanzee. What the bird can do is filter out all that unnecessary information in the environment and focus on only those bits of information that really matter. Dive deep into the animal experience. Getting a little feisty down here. To explore their language, relationships, even emotions. If you start giving one of them grapes, which are far better than cucumber, then the one who gets cucumber becomes very upset, emotionally agitated. Are they more like us than we ever thought possible? So now we're looking through a window and they'll be seeing a mirror. Having a sense of self would go, I shouldn't say hand in hand, I could say flipper to flipper, with complex understanding of others. Inside Animal Minds, coming soon on NOVA.